There is a patch of garbage in the ocean that spans twice the size of Texas and continues to grow. The Great Pacific Garbage Patch is a stark example of how humans are throwing away too much every day. Single-use plastic waste is reaching an all-time high and will continue to negatively affect human health, wildlife, and oceans unless we do something about it. Currently, the world is creating around 300 million tons of trash per year, 50% of which is a single-use product such as straws, water bottles, and shopping bags. And since plastic takes so long to decompose, around 17 billion pounds have ended up in the ocean. As plastic breaks down over time, it is mistaken for food and ingested by fish and other animals, which causes it to enter the food chain. Microparticles soak up more toxins before they are consumed, and as a result, wild-caught fish are often found containing toxic chemicals such as mercury and lead. These toxic fish are eventually caught, sold, and eaten by humans, which passes along the chemicals to us. These toxins have been known to cause cancer, birth defects, and developmental problems. So as a consequence to a human-led problem, we are negatively affecting our own health. In a poll taken of 95 of our peers, while the students fell on different ends of the political spectrum, with 45% identifying as moderate, 33% as liberal, and 21% as conservative, the general consensus was that we are using too much plastic in our everyday lives, and there are steps we need to take in order to make a difference. 84% of individuals use a refillable water bottle every day, and 45-50% to 50 are using reusable food containers while also buying their food in bulk. America, state legislatures have introduced 73 bills regarding the use of plastic bags in retail settings. Some notable cities with plastic bag bans are Austin, Texas, Chicago, Illinois, Los Angeles, and San Francisco, California, and Seattle, Washington. And some cities with plastic bag fees are Boulder, Colorado, New York, New York, Portland, Oregon, and Washington, D.C. There is currently no pending plastic legislation in Kansas, and while people are making their own efforts to cut out plastic in their lives, the government must step up in order to make a permanent and large impact.